Today we shall be looking into how we can make Ali Abdal style thumbnails. Now it's going to be very simple, very straight to the point, and um, I will be sharing how you know you can make Ali Abdal style or themed or you know basically if you want to go for something very minimal and straight to the point kind of thumbnails. This video will be for you. All right, so starting off with a canvas as usual, 1280 width, 720 pixels, 300 resolution, and we are here all set to go. As always, the first thing first, we are going to be bringing, you know, we are going to be bringing in the photo of, you know, of a client, or even if you're making it for yourself, a photo of yourself. Well, um, as this is a Ali Abdal style thumbnail, we will be bringing in Ali for this specific thumbnail tutorial. All right, as we can see, I have brought in a picture of Ali Abdal. I basically had the opportunity to, you know, create a few thumbnails for Ali Abdal's team. And I had these few images with me. Um, so I was like, why not, you know, give you a basic tutorial of how it basically goes. So um, what I basically do is, or what I usually like to do is, that I basically, first of all, you know, get the subject out of the background so that it's masked out and we can put in individual, for instance, color corrections, any other effects that we want to add to the subject itself. So here the subject is Mr. Ali. We will basically be going forward and, you know, masking him out. So I'll just do that and get right back to you. All right, here we go. We have Mr. Ali all, you know, masked out and we have the background on the background as well. So what I basically did was when I masked him out, I, you know, kept a separate layer on the back so that we can utilize the background he has because in the thumbnails, he doesn't really use, you know, custom backgrounds. Um, he basically uses his own office as the background. Now, this is a very simple thumbnail and you don't really need a lot of expertise in it. All you really need to have is Photoshop itself. Um, I have masked I have masked him out so that we can you know put in color corrections to him separately and then we have the background so that we can color correct it accordingly as well. I'm basically going to select both of the layers and try to centralize Ali just like that, somewhere around that. And uh, now I can proceed to you know um, you know on to the next process or to the next step so if you may have noticed ali has these small you know flat icons on his screen in which you know it would be usually it really it, it you know leads to what the topic of the video is about so for an instance this thumbnail we will be talking about something you know about productivity tools or something like that so what we will be basically doing is we will be bringing in some you know circles and what do i mean by circles basically all you have to really do is you go into the shape tool lips tool fill it with white color if you want to choose any other color it's completely up to you but white is preferred in my opinion and then create small little circles like these. And, um, you know, you can create these and replicate these all over the place, you know, depending on how many icons you want on the screen. So for an instance, let's say we want to add six of these. So I'll just duplicate them and then adjust them accordingly. And there we go. We have our layers adjusted just like that. So basically what I did was I just duplicated all the ellipses and, you know, resize a few of them, you know, the small ones and slightly bigger ones and disperse them over the screen. So I evenly divided them three on one side and three on the other side. And that was pretty much it. Now, the next step would be you going on to google.com images or as I prefer to go to flat icons. Um, there you can find some really cool icons for your thumbnails. Um, we will basically be bringing in the icons. Now, this one is for like productivity tools. So what I will basically be doing is I will be bringing in some productivity tool icons, logos, um, and putting them inside each of these circles. There we go. I organized all of the groups as well alongside with it. So I basically brought in these icons. I brought in a notion. I brought in a you know, Google Docs icon, a Zoom icon, an Evernote icon, a Slack icon, and then a OneNote icon. And what I basically did was I just brought them in, adjusted them inside the small circles, you know, to give off a very nice, um, good looking look, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, moreover, I went into right click, blending options to the circles in the background, like in just right click, 
and then added a drop shadow to have a nice little effect going on as you can see right here you know to add some depth to the icons you can you know ignore this or you can do this it's completely completely up to you next thing is that i'll just close these groups really quickly we are almost done like some of you would be like all right we are done with the thumbnail but i really like to you know add some color corrections to the thumbnails so what i will be doing is i will be going into firstly adding some color corrections to ali himself selecting the layer going into filter camera raw filter um you know just adding a bit of contrast slight bit of you know exposure reducing the highlights by a bit increasing the shadows by a bit increasing the whites by a bit and decreasing the blacks by a bit adding a bit of texture clarity very minimal and adding a bit of sharpening on him with a little bit of touch of a noise reduction filter as well there we go just a little you know touch up nothing very fancy we won't be doing you know out doing ourselves as we usually do for our other thumbnails because you know it really depends person to person i have seen that ali abdal and his team prefer to keep you know color corrections very very subtle um and then i went on and you know chose the background and now we will be going into the background and having some camera raw filter color corrections done giving the basics we will try to keep the color a bit cooler in the background that's how you know i have seen ali abdal's thumbnails to be adding a bit of contrast increasing the you know exposure by a bit decreasing the highlights increasing the shadows increasing the whites and decreasing the blacks adding texture and clarity as usual vibrance a bit up there with a bit of sharpening and noise reduction overall I'll basically just pump up the exposure just by a bit and there we have it we have a very very minimal very simple thumbnail all ready to go almost now what i usually prefer to do is i add a new layer above the background go into brush tool reduce the hardness to zero choose choose the white color, uh, like black color and add a subtle shadow behind the subject now this really depends on the background as well for an instance this background you know the shadow really goes well but for an instance it's a very bright background the shadow won't look that good so you have to you know really um work with the cards you are dealt with then similarly what we will be doing is we will be going into selective color whites decrease the blacks to zero and just quickly whitening up or as you would say brightening up his eyes and teeth a new color a new layer just like that to make his teeth white now this is something that i personally am doing um i do not think that ali's team or he does this but this is something that i have felt you know really plays so you would like oh, come on show it's just like thief how does that make any difference surprisingly it does really make a difference you know you when you see a person smiling with a bright white you know smile um you tend to really notice it that's just human psychology and uh <laughs> it does wonders and i myself got to learn about this while doing thumbnails um well yeah that would be it now you can just select all of the layers group them duplicate them you know merge them uh, you know select everything cut paste you know we have a separate layer if you want to add in some additional overall color corrections filter camera raw filter we can add in some contrast if we want we can increase the exposure by a bit if we'd like we can reduce the highlights we can increase the shadows we can increase the white just like we usually do um if you want we can increase the vibrance or you know even decrease it if we want we can go into the details like it's completely up to you so i'll just put in a bit of sharpness and noise reduction and my personal favorite a bit of a fignet and that will be it that will be a very quick thumbnail tutorial on how you can create ali abdal style thumbnails just like this